So you want to know what regions are going to make you a full-on Chris Angel mind freak in this year's leagues? Well, you've come to the right place. If you're picking Magic, this guide is going to give you everything you need to know to make a decision on what regions to pick based on your playstyle and ultimately having fun while you're doing it. Desert is a must, as is Kandarin, and then we have Asgarnia, Arend, Wilderness, and Fremenic competing to be the third spot. You can really pick any combination of these and you will be fine, but I found that the three I am picking have the most synergy and offer a lot, not just in bossing, but skilling as well. Going over Desert and Kandarin, I'm thinking once I unlock my first region, I'm going to unlock Desert first, and here's where I get a little funky. This is where the plan starts to fall into place. We can start by doing a bunch of minigames and getting supplies as well as a bunch of levels. Starting off with some Temporos to get a bunch of food and maybe the water book and some wet pages. Head on over to Guardians of the Rift to get unlimited runes. By the time you get your runes, you should have a lot of Guardians of the Rift points to spend. Then stop by the Mage Training Arena to get a Master Wand, some Infinity Armor, a Mage's Book, and Bones to Peaches. Remember that you're going to be getting 8x the points in all of these minigames and leagues. I'm going to be going after the Squirk Juice to get my Thieving up, and then Pyramid Plunder, Giant's Foundry for Smithing, and then start on some Slayer Task once my Mage level is high enough to start bursting things. Or honestly, Blood Spells are just going to let you AFK any Slayer Task. I have agility training on rooftops, and if I fill up to the Leviathan for the Virtus Robe set, then there you go. But I will probably wait unless I pick something other than Fremenic or Asgarnia, because those have Duke and Whisper, which are way easier than Leviathan. Now, you have probably noticed that I've skipped talking about Tombs of a Masket, but rest assured, we will be talking about this more towards the end and why it's so absolutely important. But first, we have to go over the second pick for our regions. Kandarin. Here, I would rush Slayer to get my Trident of the Seas. It would be super easy from already having some Slayer done in the desert and then moving into the Slayer Caves here. You can get Steve as your Slayer Master and hopefully get a Kraken Task for the Trident or Black Demon's Task for Zenite from the Demonic Gorillas. Maybe even get a Smoke Devil Task for the Occult Necklace from the Thermy Smoke Devil himself and then grab a Dragon Skimmy to have a decent melee weapon. You can stock up on some Red Chimchampas while you're getting your Hunter up and then use all of those at the Monkey Madness Caves getting your range up and I think you can train defense as well. You're going to get a lot of farming patches in this area, so might as well get that up. If you want to fish, you can go to the fishing guild or monk fish. And if you can find a way to get a lot of rune essence, then you can just sit at the ZMI altar and craft all the runes you could ever want. I would probably just stick to Guardians of the Rift if you have that unlocked. Or you can use Fire Cell and just buy all your runes pretty much for free. You can go get Piety just for the fact you can get it and maybe it'll help in raids later on. And if you unlock Fremenic, you will be able to have the Myths Guild where you have the Dragon Battle Axe, the Myths Cape, the Dragons for Dragon Bones. I bet there will be some tasks for getting Castle Wars Armor, which you can do in this region. You're going to have Barbarian Fishing, meaning you're going to be able to get Strength XP and Fishing XP at the same time. And if you Fly Fish, you can get Agility XP added to that. If you pick Trickster, you will have all of Ordoin to thrive in, or thieve in. You're going to be getting Agility Boots right off the rip, which means 99 Agility super quick. And if you didn't choose Trickster, you can still have all the Thieving XP from Marty Knight, Stalls, and more. I have a different plan for Thieving though, so I don't know if I'm going to be picking Trickster. It will probably be Production Prodigy. I will explain when we get to the desert portion of the video. And if you need a melee chest, you can grab one of the best ones you can get your hands on for a while at Barbarian Assault. Moving on to the contenders, we have Asgarnia, Corind, the Wilderness, and Fremenic. I'm going to save my favorite one for last, but they are all good choices depending on how you want to play leaks. Starting off with my least favorite but super good contender is the Wilderness. The reason this is my least favorite is because I don't like to PK. So it would just make me mad being in the wilderness and leaks. But you do have all kinds of money makers here as well as some really good items like the wilderness weapons, necklace that lets you know everything, blighted food and potions, dragon axe, mage robes, magic and range shields. 
Great Slayer Task, and of course, the Void Waker. Mage Arena for the imbued cape, corp, just a lot of content and good stuff. I didn't really make a plan here, so that's all I'm going to be doing for the Wilderness. But it is a good choice to look into if you like PvP or just aren't afraid of PKers. The next one is Asgarnia. This one I had a really hard time deciding on. For one, I wanted to get the max cape at some point, but that's not really the best reason to pick a whole region. But it is a really good pick. So in Asgarnia, you have Pest Control, which gives massive XP as well as the Void Armor for all combat styles. The Mining Guild and Motherload Mine will be amazing places to get some mining XP. One of the best perks if you're going magic is that you unlock the Whisperer, who is weak to magic, and you will have an easier time farming the Virtus Rope set. You can grab your Rogue's Outfit from the Rogue's Den. And the best part about this region is that you get the God Wars dungeon. Here you can find five different bosses dropping full sets of range and melee armor alongside a lot of good special attack weapons. You have your dragon defender and Nex. From God Wars alone, you're going to be getting a full melee and range set. You can even upgrade your Bando set to a Torva if you want. You're going to be getting the Armadil crossbow as well as a lot of good special attack weapons in the form of God Swords. And then you can head on over to the Whisper and get your full Virtus robes. Corinne was going to be my third pick for a few days. I thought it would be really fun to learn Chambers of Zarek. And you get so much good loot from it like Rigor and Augury or Full Ancestral. You have literally all the skilling content in the world. So many farming patches, slayer tasks, bosses, and mini games. And it's such a big region that you would just always have stuff to do. You would be using this from the time you unlock it to the time you stop playing leagues. You have the Tithe Farm for farming, the Woodcutting Guild and the Farming Guild, Thralls, Archaeus Spellbook, the Alchemical Hydra, Winter Todd, and if you're brave enough, you can venture into the Chambers of Zarek and get your full Ancestral. But do note that this is only 3% damage increase over Virtus Robes, so you may just want to stick with Virtus being as it is way easier to get. Getting towards the end here, there was one region that pulled ahead, and that's the Fremenic region. Here, I will continue with my plan. We left off at the end of the first two regions. After you do some barbarian fishing in Kandarin, you're going to make your way to Fremenic, where you have more farming patches, the Blast Furnace, Miscellanea Kingdom Management, Keldegrim Shop, where you can buy all the stuff for your POH, Relica Rooftops, Lunar Spellbook, you're going to have the Dagonoth Kings where you can farm out your Seer's Ring, and then eventually you will get your Magnus Ring with a plus 15 magic attack bonus and a plus 2 mage strength bonus, but you can also stay to get your other rings if you think you will use them. Plus, you can farm out a Dragon Axe for woodcutting, then you can head on over to the Muspa to grab yourself an Ancient Scepter and a Ventinator Bow. Combine that with the Missouri from TOA, and you're going to be able to get Ava's Assembler, Adamant and Rune Dragons, Nathas Not Face Guard, Seer's Helm for magic in the early game, and you have Vorkath, which could be good for superior Dragon Bones. And maybe grab yourself a Dragon Axe to help with woodcutting. Now by this time, you should have all the stuff you need to start doing some higher invocation TOA runs. You're going to be getting levels and tiers while you're here, so no need to worry about that. You're going to have your switches if things get rough, but for the most part, I think you're going to be able to just face tank everything while doing a few mechanics. Now, I will say if you don't know how to do TOA, you should spend some time learning the mechanics. That way, whenever you go into the main game, you have a lot more fun playing instead of learning. Anyways, here you will get the best in slot weapon, the Tumican Shadow. You're going to get the Fang for melee and Missouri Armor for defense and range. You can get yourself a thread and hold even more runes in your rune pouch and much more. I found this raid to be the most beneficial for a magic build, especially whenever you're going to have the Zenite Jewelry, a Magnus Ring, and Virtus Robe set. You also get a few special perks I wanted to point out if you missed it. Whenever you pick these three regions, Desert, Kandarin, and Fremenic, you're going to get the Myths Guild. That means you will have the Wrath Runes and all three types of dragons to kill as well as a Dragon Battle Axe. You're going to be able to charge your Dragonstone Jewelry if you ever need it. You're going to be able to get the Magnus Ring, which is the best mage ring in the game. You will get your Ancient Scepter, which is an upgraded version of the Ancient Staff. And best of all, you can kill Duke to get your Virtus Rope set instead of having to do it with Leviathan. 
Let me know if this helped you choose your regions in the comments. My name is Pro, and if you want to have leagues explained to you like you're five years old, click this video right here.